Okay, the baby and kidney's ability to close the water is a key terrestrial adaptation. In humans, the osmolarity of the blood is about 300 milliosmolarity per liter. But the kidney can excrete urine up to four times as concentrated. 1,200 milliosmolarity per liter. Some babies can do even better. In babies and kidney, the production of hyperosmotic urine is possible only because considerable energy is expended for the active transport of solutes against concentration gradient. 1,200. The defrost particularly the lobes of Henley in this area can be true as an energy consuming machine that produces an osmolarity gradient suitable for extracting water from the filtrate in collecting duct. The primary solute affecting osmolarity are sodium chloride which is concentrated in the radial medulla by the lobes of Henle and urea. <laughs> which is this urea pass across the epithelium of the collective duct in the inner medulla. Okay, for the better understanding the physiology of babylonic kidney, uh, let's retrace the flow of vitreate through the excretory tubule. This time, let's focus on how ductile medullary diaphragm maintain an osmolarity gradient in the tissue. There are different osmolarity in the 300, 400, 600, 900, and 1,200. Okay. There are different gradient in tissue that surround the loops of Henle and they use the gradient to excrete the hyperosmotic urine. 1,200 milliosmolarity. Filtrate passed from the bubble capsule to the proximal tubules has about the same osmolarity, as, same osmolarity as blood, 300 in the blood and 300 in the filtrate. The large amounts of water and salt is reabsorbed from the filtrate as it flows through the proximal tubule. Here. As a result, the filtrate volume decreases substantially, but its osmolarity remains about the same, 300, still 300 million osmolarity. As the filtrate flow from the cortex to the medulla descending leaves looks of any. This is a cortex area, and this is a medulla area, outer medulla and inner medulla. Water leaves the tubule by osmosis. Purple color by osmosis. Solutes including sodium chloride become more concentrated, increase the osmolarity of the filtrate from 400 to 600 to 900 and last to 1200. The highest osmolarity, 1200 milliosmolarity per liter, occur at the elbow of the loops of Henley. This maximizes the diffusion of salt out of the tubule as a filtrate around the curve and enter ascending loops of Henley, which is permeable to salt but not for water. Sodium chloride diffused from the ascending leaves help to maintain the high osmolarity in interstitial fluid. 
بيجيب ايدي بيجيلا Notice that the loops of Henley have several qualities of the counter-current system, such as system that maximize oxygen absorbed by fish gill. The counter-current mechanism involves passive movement along either an oxygen concentration gradient or the heat gradient. The counter-current system involves the loops of Henle expand energy to actively transport sodium chloride from the filtrate in the upper part of ascending leaves of the loops. Such concentrated countercurrent system, which expand the energy to create concentration gradient, are called countercurrent multiplier system. The countercurrent multiplier system involves the loops of Henle maintain high salt concentration in the interior of the kidney, enabling the kidney to form the concentrated urine. Next, what prevents the capillaries of the vasa recta from this PT degrading by carrying? away the high concentration of sodium chloride in the medulla interstitial fluid. When I say the wasa recta, wasa recta, as we mentioned before, they yeah, surround the loops of the The descending and ascending vessel of the vasa recta carry blood in opposite direction through the kidney osmolarity gradient. As the descending vessel convey the blood towards the inner medulla, water loss from the blood and sodium chloride is killed by diffusion. Okay, ascending vasa recta. Okay, water loss from the blood and gain sodium chloride by diffusion. This step flux are reversed as blood flow back toward the cortex in ascending vessel with the water re-entering the blood and salt diffuse out. Thus, the vasa recta can supply the kidney with nutrient and other important substances carried by the blood without interfering with the osmolarity gradient in the inner and outer medulla. The countercurrent like characteristic, characteristic of the loops of Henle and the vasa recta help to generate the steep osmotic gradients between the medulla and cortex. However, diffusion will eventually eliminate any osmotic gradient within animal tissue unless gradient formation is supported and expenditure of energy. In the kidney, the expansion largely occur in the thick segment of ascending leaves of the loops of Henle, where sodium chloride actively transport. Even with the benefit of countercurrent exchange, this process, along with other renal active transport system, will consume considerable ATP. As a result of actively transport sodium chloride out of the thick segment of an ascending leaves, the filtrate is actually hypoosmotic to the body fluid by the time it reaches the distal tubule. It's a very super hypoosmotic. That's the filtrate descends against towards the medulla. This time is the collective duct which is available to water but not for salt. Therefore, osmosis extract water from the filtrate as it passes from the cortex to medulla. 
and a counter a decision free of increasing osmolarity. This process concentrates salts, urea, and also other solutes in the filtrate. Some urea okay, will pass out of the lower portion of the collective duct and contribute to the high interstitial osmolarity of the medulla. So this is the medulla. The urea contribute the high uh, interstitial osmolarity in the medulla. When the kidney concentrates urine maximally, the urine reach around 1,200 milli osmolarity. The osmolarity of the interstitial fluids in the in the medulla. Although Isoosmotic of the inner medulla interstitial fluids. The urine is hyperosmotic to the blood and interstitial fluids. This high osmolarity allows the solute remaining in the urine to be excreted from the body with minimal water loss. That's all.